one of the first ones I did want to get into, we really didn't get a chance to talk about it, but it was the Kobe situation. Now, I know I was able to say what I wanted to say about it on my actual channel, yeah. but me personally, I didn't hear it from any of y'all. Um, it would have been like almost two weeks since the Kobe Bryant's death of him and Gigi and the what, nine others. Mm. Yeah. So um, if y'all have anything y'all had to say, like a, a favorite moment, knowing that Eric is a Laker fan, I would like for him to take the floor because, you know, yeah, that's that really hurt say. him the yeah, most, yeah, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I would like to hear you, you know, hear your perspective of it and um, like your favorite moment of Kobe Bryant as well. Um, um, Kobe was like, it's funny because I, I wasn't too big of a fan for Kobe because I was an AI fan. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the respect for the game was just different. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you – Passing about basketball and you watching like Allen Iverson go head to head with a uh, assassin like Kobe mm -hmm. is different, you know what I mean? So like, uh, my favorite member memorable moments of Kobe was like um, the 2010 Finals. That's when I really got to understand who he really was as yeah. a player. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it it, it was without Shaq. It sunk yeah. in. Yeah. It sunk in because it was like you got you got the four Shaq got four, but the fifth one made you who you are. You know what I mean? You sure? Because I thought he won three with Shaq and won two without him. Yeah, he won two without him. He won two without him. Right, so the fourth one, I'm saying the fourth the fourth championship, they both was equal because right. Shaq got four. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know true. what I'm saying? So the fourth one was like, we're on the same level, but like that extra championship just made me at a higher pedestal because I'm, you know what I mean? I actually got out without you. Right, You know what I mean? Right. So it's just with that, that was a memorable moment for me and the, the 61 point game was, that just, Put the cherry on top. Mm. Yeah. Well, for me, what's the eighty point game? Mm. What against Toronto? Yeah. Mm. I don't care what you say if they was letting him score, but I don't care. You do just don't let nobody put eighty points up on you like that. If you and the his, his defender was Jalen Rose at the time. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> um, one of my favorite moments I had to go back to what he was saying when uh, Kobe and Iverson was like a great rivalry because because Kobe said. Iverson was a shark, and the only way you beat a shark is you had to become a shark to mm. compete with that. Mm -hmm. He said the first half of that game when they was playing, when he first played, he said he was chasing Iverson around. He was so tired. And then he said he became – that's when the Mamba mentality came about after he seen that what Iverson was doing to him. He wasn't really talking about Mamba mentality then. But he said it wasn't really out then, but he said it was in his brain. And then when he came out in that second half against Iverson, when Iverson couldn't touch him, he was scoring all crazy. That's when Mamba mentality really came out. A lot of people don't even know that. A lot of people don't even understand when when, when that happened. He had it all along, but it took Iverson to really bring that out of him because a lot of people couldn't guard Iverson. That's that's, that's really that's really. And I'm not fact. really trying to take away from Kobe, but that's one of my favorite moments to watch that because – it took a play, a small player like Iverson to really bring out that that assassin and Kobe once mm -hmm. because after after that you really couldn't do nothing with Kobe. Right. Like his moves is the closest thing you're going to see to Jordan. That's true. Like that's the closest. But one of my favorite 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 moments is when I forgot what team he was playing, but I was at the buzzer and he was running towards the, the top of the key and he hit it off the bank shot. And he just ran off like with, 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 with the fist, uh, with the Miami. fist. Yeah, Miami. Yeah. Christmas yeah. Day. Yeah. Mm. That, I, I'm not a Lakers fan, but that right there made me, I was like, Kobe did it yeah. again. Yeah. He did it again. I think one of my favorite moments of Kobe Bryant, and it might be a dunk, but I really don't care. When he put the ball behind his back and he did the reverse dunk, oh, oh yeah. that That's was pretty. nasty. Yeah. I, I just like – he he did it between he he's put the ball behind his back and then he split two defenders in the reverse dunk. Exactly. Kobe was just another player where he was just on another level. Like he was just here. Everybody was like down here, especially mm -hmm. when he won that fourth championship and knowing that they lost to Boston and then went back to beat Boston right. again. Like that was just You know what it is? He wasn't shooting with me in the gym. That boy was a workaholic. Yeah, he, he was a workaholic. Like it was, it was stories that I even heard from other players saying that. Speaking of, speaking of uh, Dwayne Wade, he said that they, he played Miami. Once he played Miami, LeBron James and Dwayne were like, "What you doing here, man? What you doing in the gym?" He said, "I'm in the gym working in Miami's gym." Yep. 
Like, Dwayne Wade and LeBron about to go out after the game and while Kobe's sitting in the gym. I'm like, yo, that told me right there, like, that is a GOAT right there. I think he put up 40 that game, too, if I'm not mistaken. Put 40 up? I think he put 40 up that game. Oh, my God. That's why a lot of players do that now. They stay in the gym after mm-hmm. certain games. Mm-hmm. I heard a story about Devin Booker like that. That's why he shoots like that. Because he stays after practice and after games. Oh, we're going to get into Devin Booker. We're definitely going to oh, get into that's it. We're going to get into Devin Booker. I call him a young Jesus Shuttlesworth. I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a bold statement right now. You know now. why I say it? Because I love Ray Allen, but you got to think about it. Ray Allen, was he was shooting like that, but Ray Allen didn't put up 60 points when he was young like that. That's true, but you got to think about the era of the basketball, oh, yeah. and too. And look what team he on. He don't got nobody. He got to do that. Yeah, he has no choice to do that. Yeah, but that's true. Um, Key, what you feel about this, you know, this whole situation with the Kobe thing? Man, you know how many countless arguments I had at the lunch table in high school <laughs> talking about who's better, AI or Kobe? Yeah. Um, no, I wasn't a Lakers fan, but you're always a fan of the game. Mm-hmm. So Kobe was one of those players you just like, you watch him, you're just like, oh, my God, he about to kill this team right now. Um, when he was in a dunk contest, can't forget about that. Um, between the legs, it he man, you can't even describe it. He made that look easy. Um, but one of the games, you know, it came down to the 80, 81 points. How you just let one man score eighty one points? Mm-hmm. Kwame Brown told him in the locker room. He said, "I'm not giving y'all the ball. I'm not passing." Yep. <laughs> he he said that in the it's, it's a quote that he he said that mm-hmm. I was like I read that I said oh wow um but I think my favorite moment is sixty one points like the end of a twenty year career with one team yeah. you win five championships countless MVPs all star appearances for you to go out and lose mind you they were losing losing to Utah mm-hmm. and to come back and he scored sixty one Shaq told him. Give me forty. He gives. I was him just 60. about to say yeah. that. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Shaq was like, "Go give me forty. He gives him sixty-one in his last game ever. That has to go down in all time. All time. It doesn't discount the eighty-one points, but that right there, your last game ever, yeah. and you go out and score sixty-one. And mind you, he got. I think he got his fifty-ninth point or something on the free throw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, on free throw. Yeah, definitely. So. The only reason why I said okay. The 61-point game is like one of the best games ever. The only reason why I said that I mentioned the 80-point game because it's like that's the closest thing to Wilt Chamberlain. Mm-hmm. Like nobody's ever even came close to that. I'm like, how do you let somebody like that like oh, like y'all don't double he, y- y'all don't double team him. I think y'all, he had like forty in the in, yeah, the, in the first half yeah. at that game. The too. closest person that had the most points in a half is Klay Thompson, besides Kobe. Right, right, but. It's, he didn't do it like how Kobe did it. It was a it. difference. It was yeah. a difference. Kobe showed you ways that you can score like no other. Like Klay Thompson, just a shooter. He could do whatever. But Kobe did it all by shooting, going to the lane, dunking, playing defense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing people don't never talk about is Kobe's defense. That's true. Yeah. That, that, see, Kobe that's has how, defense. That's how I felt so about. I just, just pulled up the, the, the stats from that game. So he had 42 minutes. 42 minutes. He was 28 for 46, hmm. 7 of 13 from the three. Oh, wow. He had six rebounds, two assists. He only had one foul that game, 81 points. That's one crazy. foul and 81 points? The other 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 two people on the team who was in double figures was uh, what, Chris Mim at the time and uh, Parker. Both Chris had, Mim? Both had 12. Tony Parker? I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Did you say Chris Mim? Uh, uh, what's it? Yo, it's right for the cast. Right, right it's yeah. right there. It's who, right there. Who y'all oh talking about? Who? Parker. 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 What's, what Parker what? was that? Jordan. Uh, no, that's Jordan I, Clarkson. Clarkson. Yeah, Clarkson. That's Clarkson. But he played Smush, he, Smush, Smush Parker. Parker. Smush, Smush Parker. Yeah, yeah Smush it was Parker. the only one that had is in double figures. Now Chris Bosh had eighteen. Bonner had twelve. Uh, James, hold on. Mike James, whoever he was at that time, oh, wow. had 26 Mike points. James. <laughs> Mike James. Mike Jones. Remember Morris Peterson? <laughs> oh, yeah. But he, Morris Peterson, Mo Pete. he was actually a shooter. Yeah, he, he was yeah. He was a shooter. He used to play for Toronto as yeah, well, right? That's how I, know, I like to, to use him on live. That's he why. had seven <laughs> points, and then Jayla Rose had 17, and then a couple bench players. But 
That 17 don't matter to 81. It, 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 it he, don't. Your 17 was for the whole game. He had that. Kobe had way more than that in the first half. <laughs> first quarter, right. He first doubled the, he yeah. doubled he doubled that in the first half. Yeah, he like, doubled he right? doubled that by a long shot. And Jalen Rose, Jalen Rose said when he when when, I, when Jalen Rose spoke, he said, even though Kobe put 81 on me, it showed me that a player that's so humble can 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 like step into a situation where you can't do nothing about it Mm -mm. like Mm. like 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 you could play the best defense in the world but when the player's in the zone like that you can't do it you can't stop it you can't stop it and you know the crazy part what the score was 122 to 104 yeah they came back Mm, mm, mm. that's crazy but the the thing that gets me with this whole situation is GJ. Yeah, GJ. That w- really gets me because on the way to practice, man. No, on the way to a game. Yeah, it to was a, a game. it was a tournament yeah, yeah, that tournament. they was going yeah, to. Yeah. And just seeing her game, watching it on Instagram, watching it on YouTube, she idolized her father. Yeah, she plays she, when she, I tell no even even with biting her jersey the same when way. When I tell you the mentality in her face when she played against those girls it was different it was different when i say she was going to be the next star in high school the next star in college and she would have been a star in the wnba but you know what i love about her she wears my favorite number oh, we, we know your favorite number, number two. Is too she but wears my favorite number we know number. your favorite number that, too. i watched one of her highlights on instagram when i tell you I said I've never seen a girl her age with so much passion yeah. up for for the game. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen girls play, but for the, the way she okay this okay that okay that's Kobe's daughter. Regard, put that to regardless, the side. Regardless put of that it, to right, the right. side. Her game spoke spoke until mm-hmm. the point where Kobe even said when I didn't even feel like practicing, she wanted to continue. Mm. I remember she um uh, somebody came up to Kobe and was like um. You need sons. You got some sons. Right, I heard at, that. She, she was at like, uh uh-uh. uh. Nah. She said, I'm I'm I am i am I'm gonna take care of the mamba. Right. And she took care of it. Right. She and even really did. Lo, when I say she would have won championships and all types of accolades, and then think about it is, she was the one that really got Kobe Bryant going to WNBA games mm-hmm. yeah. and being an advocate for women's yep. basketball. That's big. Yeah. A lot of NBA players don't advocate for it like that or actually go but, to games. But I have seen Chris Paul at games. I seen Anthony Davis at games. I seen LeBron at games. But the question is, did you see them before Kobe started going? I actually seen Chris Paul there before Kobe went. Kobe, because Chris Paul has a lot of friends in the WNBA. I seen Chris Paul go to a lot of a few a few games. Okay, it's, it's a couple players that was going before Kobe, True. but they don't they wasn't going as much as Kobe. But they was there before Kobe. Yeah. I seen LeBron there a few times when he was on the Cavs. A couple Dwayne Wade, I seen there a few times, but Kobe really. Put that imprint where he makes sure other guys that's mm-hmm. that's in the NBA to come make sure he they come support, which is true. And then he was he was training Candace Parker. He yeah. was doing one on one training with Candace Parker and some of the WNBA players yeah. to get them better. How they do this way, that way. How you fade away. How you do this. How you manipulate the defense. Because like it's just it. Kobe's just crazy. His man. size, his size is basically like a center in the WNBA. Yeah, kind of like almost because he was Kobe was like six. Six six six. six, six I think it's one of the tallest WNBA players. That's a center is like at least six, about six seven six. Brittany eight. Griner. So, yeah. So about Kobe, Griner, So Kobe yeah. was about the center of a, but but he could move like he, some so who basically you're a guy. You got a person like Della Don or like uh, what's, what's one of the talk? Sylvia Files. Sylvia Files to move like a guard, right? Like because you don't have too many feet. You ain't gonna have too many guys coming to the league like LeBron and move like a guard. No. You ain't gonna have too many of those. Even though that's what the league is turning into now, all mm. the big players are like that. But you got to think about it. When a WNBA men are not not shaped like women or grow like women, so it's right. different. So when you got the big players, when they when they when they want to play guard, they can't really play guard because they're big, so they got to get stuck in the middle. So when, when, mm. so I, I, I I give a lot of respect to Kobe for him, for them. Showing them the fadeaway jumper mm-hmm. or moving like a, you know what I'm saying, because Brittany Griner at first she would just stay in the middle. Now she got the, the post each way. She now she's, you know what I'm saying, she's shooting. I mean, we already knew Kansas Parker had the moves, but yeah. as far as her fadeaway shot, yeah. it's, it's from Kobe. It's, consi- it's from it's, it's from Kobe, and it's consistent now. Yeah, it's it's definitely consistent, and like he has so he has so much impact on the WNBA players that he like built relationships yeah. with. It's just unprecedented. Like it's just. It's it's crazy, but I I do want to get into his afterlife as well. Like he was, he was how long he's been how long he was retired? Like two or three years before he passed. 
Kobe I think 2016. He so retired. The Kobe retired in 2017. It's four years. Been four, four years, years since he's retired. It's been four years. With this year, 2016 is when I came out of school. That was his last year. You sure? Yeah, mm. that was the last game. I was in college watching the, watching the game. That was 2016. I swear mm. it wasn't that long ago. I yeah. swear he just retired like two years ago. It feel like it, but it's it, it's been a little minute. Kobe been out the game for a little minute. Yeah, I think Russ was Russ and them was like being a shadow to Kobe trying to get and understand how to win MVPs and you know what I mean different stuff like that. Giannis was yeah because he retired before LeBron came to LA. Right, and LeBron been in LA. This is what second year. Second year, yeah. bro. You yeah. sound far away. You gotta yeah, bring it yeah, up Le- to the mic. Yeah, LeBron. Yeah, yeah. It has. It has been yeah. more than two years because this is LeBron's second year and Kobe was already retired by then. That twenty sixteen year was just like it was real. The only player me. that got two numbers retired. Mm-hmm. Only and it, yeah, only, only player. player. In the same, yeah, yeah, in the same yeah, stadium. Yeah, the same stadium. Same only the stadium. only player that got two numbers retired. Yeah. But what's crazy about it is he as as hard he went on the court after his retirement, he just went hard what he was doing afterwards. Yeah. Winning Oscars, writing books. Right. And just being a just being a father on top of that. Like he just like it was just mama mentality twenty four seven. Like you couldn't tell Kobe nothing. You couldn't tell him you couldn't do this. You couldn't do that. Listen. <laughs> do y'all know why I'm he Kobe Bryant. I'm going to get this done. Do you know why he changed from number from 8 to 24? I mean, I don't know, but I, I just looked at it like Jordan was 23. Like, it's like you'd like the second version of mm-hmm. like, You know what I mean? So 24 is like the, the next number. It was I mean, more of a transformation after Shaq. Hmm. That's that, a, that's, I can see that. That's where that came from. Because the eight, the, okay, don't get me wrong. I had I had the the first Kobe's with you know what I'm saying with that eight. You remember when I had them? Mm-hmm. The Kobe's the crazy eight, the, the, uh, the crazy eight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let me tell you, when twenty four came out, that's when all the other Kobe's came out. The Adidas drums. No, the Nike's. Nike, Nike, the Nikes. Oh, cause the Adidas, the, the Adidas the drums. Where he had the where he had the spaceship right. drums, yeah, which yeah. I had. That was I had the spaceship ones. They, the 20, they was crazy 20, too. Twenty four is when Mamba came out. Okay. If you think about it, he wasn't saying mama mentality when he no. was number eight. Oh no, absolutely not. No. He was still young and still when trying 20, to yeah. figure when, himself out at the Ma, time. That's when Mamba became twenty four. A lot of people don't realize that. No. A lot of people don't think that deep into it. They just don't. He just switched his number. No, that number has a reason behind yeah. it. Look oh, it yeah. up. Look. I don't know. I, the, always I, knew that, I don't. Though. I don't know the the, the exact exact. exact no, I but but I, I have parts and pieces where I've like seen certain stuff. But mm-hmm. research. I'm trying to tell you that that number has a meaning behind it. And yeah. really, was decent about it about the whole 24 and him being Mamba is when he went, when he transferred from Adidas to Nike. Now Nike is a storytelling type of shoe. Yep. So every shoe that he had, it was a reason why he made it. So it was a story behind each shoe. Only reason why I know, cause I used to work at Nike and I used to, they like that Kobe ate the Kobe ADs. He made, he really didn't make those for bigger sizes or bigger, People they they was mainly made for the kids. Like when his daughter played, she played in ads. The kids played in ads. A lot mm-hmm. of people didn't really play in the the ones when he the the tall ones when he yeah. tore his Achilles. A lot of people didn't really wear those. But you have yeah, noticed. The but you have noticed some of his sneakers. The, the the way the material look look like snakeskin. Mm-hmm. Always did that. Always. You know what a, a mamba is. A, you yeah. know, yeah, it's, you know a snake. it's a snake. It's a snake. Right. A lot of people don't pay attention to that they stuff don't. though. I pay. I just don't ever see them. But I look at them like yo. This Mamba stuff is really interesting because mm-hmm. it's falling into everything he does. Right, right. And not to get off on subject of Kobe, but all of the other people that was on the helicopter, mm-hmm. um, it's sad to see them go as well. Because right. a lot of people just start talking about Kobe and forget about the other people that was on the helicopter that lost their lives too. Mm-hmm. I know Kobe was like, the, and, and Gigi was like the, the, top, the big topic. They were public figures. Yeah, public figures, but... Them people's lives was just important because they, exactly. cause they, their right. family lost their family. A, them saying, a father, a, a, a daughter, a yeah, sister. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And right. a lot of people forget about speaking on that because they keep talking about cause the, the Gigi and Kobe. So I just wanted to touch light on that. And they was all going to the same place exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah. They was all going to the same place as well. But um, we do appreciate you know you know him being on this earth and actually giving us you know a, ch- a lot of people want to be like. Kobe at yeah. that time because Look, once I, Jordan retired, I still shoot in trash can. Kobe, Kobe exactly. right? It's right. It's Kobe, you know. So, um, it really was, you know. It's it's kind of just, you know, it it just hit me left field. Like it just came out of nowhere. I'm like, what? Yeah. 
Yeah. TMZ reported it. I was like, I'm not believing TMZ because I don't believe in TMZ. TMZ be lying 90% of their time. I didn't believe it to it, it went on it, ESPN. Yes, that's how I was too. Once it hit ESPN, I'm like. It was on the major news. It was like, it was TMZ, and I was like, nah. So then as I started looking and scrolling, it was like major. It was Fox, yeah. it was Fox stations in different cities. I was like, mm. I was actually like just scrolling on Instagram and. My my girlfriend said it, but I didn't believe her. But once I seen it on, you know, Shiggy, um, mm, yeah, funny guy Shiggy, I, right. I had to know it was serious because he's a funny guy, right? So to post something like that is like there ain't nothing to play with, right? Because people was posting it on Facebook. I'm like Kobe ain't die. I'm like y'all. I'm like stop trolling like that. I was mad like <laughs> like don't don't do that to that man. Like <laughs> don't don't do that. And then people was like it's for real. It's for real. So when I'm, I I clicked over to ESPN, then it popped on my phone. I said. Yo, they for real. I said, no, not Kobe. Once I see Juan, uh, the uh, the the uh, senior analyst from ESPN, mm-hmm. reported on Twitter, I was like, this is it. Mm-hmm. This is it. I'm like, yo, I. It, it was just my. It's just it was just crazy to me, you know, Laura Marion watching him play in high school. It's just, and, and, and I, I want to put this out there. For the people say, oh, Kobe Bryant is not from Philly. The man is from Philly, okay? Leave him alone. I don't care if you say, oh, it's Ardmore or whatever. Yeah, it's still know. Philadelphia at the end of the no, day. When people fail to realize, just because he didn't live in certain parts of Philadelphia, that guy is from Philly. Like, his father played in Philly. Like, mm-hmm. his, even did go, okay, his father took him out overseas and do certain things. Right. Okay, that's understandable. But you can't take away this guy loves Philly. You should have seen what he act when the Eagles won yes. the Super Bowl. He, he was right. hype. He was hype. He's, he's a like, he's a Philadelphia native. He yes. loved he listen, he he could have he he wanted to play for the Sixers. But he just ain't never get the chance too. Mm-hmm. He wanted to be drafted by the Sixers, but you know, they took AI. So you Just know, imagine yeah. though, if AI went to the Lakers and Kobe came to the Sixers, how would both careers would be? I you know what's funny? I still would have think Kobe at least would have got one in Philly. Mm-hmm. One. The only reason why yeah. I say AI didn't get one because they didn't never put no talent around him. They always mm-hmm. put older people around him that wasn't that didn't have the same. Because if you really think about it, Iverson had a mama mentality before Kobe did. Oh, we we mm-hmm. we yeah we seen that back in Georgetown because he had to have that because what what was already done to him. Right. He had no choice after what happened in Virginia with yeah. the mm-hmm. with the bowling party fight and. Him getting convicted, going to jail for it, right. getting out, and then they gave him a second chance to go to Georgetown. And he had no choice. And that's when Kobe said that mentality, that, that Mamba mentality came out when he played against Iverson. And he couldn't stop Iverson. He said, "This is not going to happen to me." And it, that mom, that he said something just clicked. Mm-hmm. And Iverson said the same thing. He said that second half, I couldn't do nothing with Kobe. I couldn't do nothing with him. Like, mm-hmm. he, and every and every year when that 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 when they played in the finals. Yeah, they got that one game off, yeah. and then that was it. Yeah. Kobe said, all right, that's enough. Y'all went into my home. Okay, that's enough. Now we just got to take over. Kobe was a sponge. Oh, definitely. He was, a sponge, he was definitely sure. a sponge. That's definitely what it is. But um, so we, we finally got through that topic and finally got that off. Um,